Hi friends, how are you? Well, do I got a project for you today. Let me tell you. We are gonna redo a table that I found at my old apartment in the hallway. I'm not sure if I stole it or if I just took it without permission. But we are gonna redo that. Are you ready? Cause you, this is so easy. Your mind is gonna be blown. And you could do this with any piece of furniture in your house, in your home, in your brother's home, in your sister's home, in your uncle's home. Who knows who's home? Just go to someone's random house home, start staining their wood, spray painting their furniture, and see what they have to say. All right, are you ready? Because here we go. All right, friends, here we go. Like we say in Mario Kart, here we go. All right, I started by um, unassembling my furniture piece. Um, I've got my drill, my drill bit, and I just took out, um, it was just some screws. Um, there was a bunch of them. I made sure to save them, so I put them in a box, and I put them aside for later. Um, you don't have to take apart your piece if you just wanna paint it or spray paint it. Maybe you wanna spray paint the whole thing, not stain it. You can always do that. Um, oh, next we took a pee pee break for the puppies, my security team. And then I was ready to sand. Oh yeah, this is my favorite part. So I just wanted to rough up that wood, rough off that steel, just so that my paint stuck and that it was looking fine and sexy. Oh, speaking of fine and sexy, oh, hey, okay. Okay, I think there's something wrong with that. Mm-hmm, there, yeah. Oh, totally, totally something wrong with that. All right, and I'm using a 150 grit sandpaper just to rough up that. That's usually what I use. And I'm using my sander is the Craft Fix by Einhell. I'm not sure if that's how you say that. I'm making that up. Einhell is E-I-N-H-E-L-L. -L. Oh, time for a dance. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake I got that from QVC. So cheap, $23. And you have a sander. How cute is that? Comes in different colors too. Oh my God, I'm shaking up a store. All right. Also, I am sanding my steel. Make sure you wiped it down after you're done um, sanding just so that you get all that dirt and any residue that came off from sanding. You do not want that in your spray paint or stain. All right, and now I'm ready to stain. I'm not wearing gloves, but I am wearing a hat. So that will do the trick. Whew. All right, so I'm just pouring that stain on. I'm rubbing it into the wood with a rag. Um, also, that's it's actually the stain is Espresso Stain by Varathane. I'm not sure if I'm saying any of these names right, so I'm just gonna list them below, all right? So I don't sound like a crazy person trying to spell them out for you. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry. Oh my! That was like a cr creepy crab. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry for like 15 to 20 minutes. Just make sure that it like soaks into the wood. I washed it off a little, we good. Okay, I'm gonna do both sides. Here I come. Yep, so I'm wiping on the stain again. Honestly, if you have noticed, I've lost articles of clothing throughout the day. My mask, my hat, did not wear gloves. So that's a lesson learned. Just be flexible with what you're doing. Make sure you're not wearing any good clothes. I mean, you don't even have to wear clothes at all. That's for some people not on camera. All right, and now I'm off the spray painting. So I'm using my Rust-Oleum Metallic, baby. It matches some of my things in my house, just matching it. You could spray paint it whatever color you want. You wanna go wild, go wild. If you wanna be tame, be tame. It's really up to you. Do whatever color matches your house. If you wanna try out something new, it's like a great thing to do. All right, now it's time for like the finishing touches. I'm gonna finish this off with spray painting it. I did flip it over and spray paint the bottom. Made sure that all the edges, all the insides were um, spray painted it with that metallic paint. Um, and then I let these dry overnight. So I let the wood dry and I let the spray paint dry just so that it sat. And then I woke up the next morning, assembled it. And then I put some 
polyurethane on it just to give it that shine. You're gonna see it here. Here's the finished product. <gasps> Ooh, looking so nice, looking so sleek, looking fine. So the uh, polyurethane just gives it that shine. If you would like that, you don't need to do that. Um, I sanded it also at the end just to give it another little rough edge. I did set it behind my couch, as you can see. Um, I accessorized it with some lanterns, some photos. Later on, you're gonna see some pumpkins. I just thought it was a great idea because with the sectional, sometimes in that middle position, you don't really have any position to put your drink or your, maybe you have something to eat or something. And it just makes it easier to do that. So I kind of love it. I know the dogs are enjoying it too. They like to pretend like they're Simba in The Lion King. Who wouldn't? Um, um, so yeah, so it was super fun, super easy. So now enjoy a little modeling montage with that new piece of furniture. Like, come on. How easy was that? Wasn't it? It was simple. All I needed was a can of spray paint. And what did I use on the top? Stain. I even forgot. That's how easy it was. So I hope you enjoyed this because it was kind of fun making it. So I'm going to make some more. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe. Remember, in that order, like, comment, and subscribe. You could do unsubscribe next week when the second video comes out, and I'll feel better about myself. Got it? Get it? Good. All right, guys. I love you. Peace, love, and remember, there's always some time for a little JPH.